member from Huron Bruce. My question is to the Deputy Premier. Speaker, I'm sure you remember when the Liberals rewrote Ontario's advertising laws last year. At that time, the Auditor General warned these changes would remove independent oversight and flood the province with partisan ads to promote the political interests of the Liberal Party. Order. Last week's climate ad with David Suzuki marks a troubling start. In fact, the Auditor General said this ad was so partisan she would have banned it if she still had the power to do so. Does the Deputy Premier really think it's appropriate for taxpayer-funded ads to feature people like David Suzuki, who have endorsed and actively campaigned the Liberal Party? Thank you, Speaker. Um, you know, climate change, in, in my opinion, is not a partisan issue. Climate change is something that we are all in this together. Now, I, I do understand that the, the, the party, of the, the PC party, is in a bit of an identity crisis. The member from Renfrew, second time. Please finish. The PC party is in a bit of an identity crisis. They are not sure where they stand on this issue, and they certainly are not sure where their leader stands on this issue. And when the leader speaks for the caucus, we instantly hear about caucus members saying, actually, you're not speaking for me. So, Speaker, on this side of the House, we are committed Answer. to addressing climate change. The costs of taking no action are too large. Climate change is not partisan. Thank you. We can't just put. Thank you. You see that the uh, bantering back and forth is going to have to stop on both sides. Supplementary. Thanks, Speaker. Back to the Deputy Premier. Speaker, we all remember Dalton McGuinty strolling through Stanley Park with David Suzuki and the endorsement video that followed. The Liberals were forced to pull the video because it violated the Canada Revenue Agency's guidelines. But here we are again. The Liberals have produced another ad that once again breaks the rules laid out by the CRA that specifically prohibit charitable organizations like David Suzuki's from engaging in partisan activities. But that didn't stop the Liberals from making Mr. Suzuki the star of an ad so partisan that the Auditor General said it should be banned. Speaker, are the Liberals really so arrogant that they think they can break the Canada Revenue Agency's guidelines? Well, Speaker, um, I first want to say that, uh, uh, that when we came into office, we were one of the only jurisdictions in the world and remain one of the only ju jurisdictions in the world to limit partisan advertising. We were driven to do that because we all remember those ads where Mike Harris attacked teachers. We did not want that to happen again, and it will not happen again, Speaker. So I'm proud that we are one of the few jurisdictions in the world to legislate against partisan ads. When it comes to David Suzuki, we are very grateful to David Suzuki for participating in this ads and for his advocacy, Speaker. He was paid his standard fee according to extra rules, and he has indicated that his fees are going to be donated to the residents of Fort McMurray, Speaker. I don't know what this uh, member has against David Suzuki supporting the residents of Fort McMurray. Thank you. Question the number.